This amazing little device holds a thousand songs. And it goes right in my pocket. For more than two decades, through different shapes and sizes, the iPod brought us not only joy, but a complete change in culture. It may not have been the first MP3 player on the market, but it was a gadget that redefined how music is discovered, listened to and shared. In the rich music city of Liverpool, it's clear the iPod was a game changer for many. Everything was open to you, you didn't just have to, it wasn't what was in your record shop, um, it wasn't just what was on at your local cinema, but it, it was whatever was out there you could get access to and you could have it everywhere you went. And that's, to be honest, from, from my generation, that, that's still pretty mind-blowing. It's this product here which launched Apple towards becoming one of the most valuable companies in the world. But more than that, it's a design icon which revolutionised the way we consume media. Since its launch, more than 400 million iPods have been sold. Its release, however, wasn't all positive. It signalled the decline of many high street music stores, but its innovative appeal was just too much. The first one I had was one of those kind of click wheel ones, one of the original ones, and I think it was just a case of you could fit so much in your pocket, that was the, um, the charm of it, because growing up you were used to, you know, a cassette. It was interesting at the time being able to put your whole music collection on this little thing that was about that size. We had the, an iPod mini and, uh, yeah, I remember spending hours ripping loads of vinyl onto MP3 to put onto my iPod. Apple's vision for the iPod evolved rapidly. With every generation, they introduced new technology, which now shapes how we're entertained and how we communicate. When it first came onto the scene, it was focused solely on sound, but very quickly, only, only three years after the original iPod, they added uh, video functionality to the iPod, and that sort of gave everyone a little portable television that they carried with them everywhere. As the iPod evolved into the iPhone, the move to scrap production was inevitable. And as it's resigned to history in museums and collections, we're reminded of its role in how we communicate, function and collaborate today. In Zaman Rashid, Sky News, Liverpool.